so welcome to the third part of this video tutorial and in this part i'll be talking about the functions of the super admin as far as the third party of this of this software is concerned and that is the employer so i can as you can see right now i have no any user who is recorded as a as an employer but uh, that's why i'm supposed to now log out and create one user who is the employer so uh, uh, the institution admin um, while he was applying to be in this system he needed to be approved by the super admin but in the case of the employer it's a little bit a little bit different because the employer just registers and directly uh, he's registered to the main database of this system so i'll register as an employer so that you can see the functions that uh, the super admin is supposed to do on this particular user and uh, as usual continue subscribing to my youtube channel continue sharing and liking my videos uh, so we continue so i'll choose a name maybe let me use my name and uh, the email address the eric at polytrack.ga kra pin a zero zero one two tyu r password So I'm registering as an employer so that you can see what the super admin is supposed to do according to this particular user. So we are in as an employer. So one thing that the employer is supposed to do is supposed to post a company so that the super admin can approve this particular company company before you can start send you can start sending any details about maybe the jobs announcements and whatever so let me try to create a new job under uh, this particular user so that you can see the restrictions so first restriction is the the employer is supposed to first create a company so that he'll be able to do anything on this system so i'll create a new company And that will be which one maybe hp business number hp123 i'll choose a logo for this company and, uh, downloads or documents downloads it's a logo really no it's a uh, I'm supposed to choose a registration certificate, not a logo. So that's why it's showing me only PDF file when I browse. So let me choose one of them. The address. There we go. Phone number. There we go. Website URL. It's uh, HP. Industry, maybe engineering. Logo can see now it's only showing me images and file file explorers so let me choose one image and uh, post as a logo so right now we have we are registering one company and it has been registered successfully back to the dashboard you can see we have this company here and while we try to create a new job still I'm sure it's not going to allow us because the company has not yet been approved by the super admin. So the system is telling me to check why I cannot create a job and this is why the company has not yet been approved. You can see under this table. So what I'm supposed to do is to log out and log in as the super admin so that I can see if I can approve this company. So... Super admin at polytrack.ga. Under the notifications bar, we have one notification here, and this notification is coming from uh, 
the new registered company in the system. So the super admin is supposed to approve this particular employer so that they can continue doing anything in this system. So I'm going to browse this company, see the details first of this company. Here we have the logo, here we have the business permit and everything. So this is the button that, I, that I'm supposed to click so that I can approve this company. Before that, we can view the business permit. You can see the target is blank so that it doesn't open on the same tab that we are we are uh, we are uh, doing anything on this system so uh, after we approve there is other number of functions that we are going to do on this uh, particular company of which right now they are not visible because we like uh, for example the action the next actions that we are supposed to do we are supposed to maybe suspend or unsuspend this company of which right now we are not allowed to do so because the company already is not in the system so what you need to do is just approve it first so that we can see any other things that we are supposed to do on this company it's going to take some seconds because there are so many things that the system needs to confirm before approving this company so we are done and uh, if i browse this company again you'll see there's there is some tab that is going to appear here and it's named act when i click it there is a suspension box that it is here so which means after i have approved the after i have approved the company i can now go ahead and suspend the company and leave a message behind so i'm not going to suspend it now because I want you to see what is happening on the company's end, on the employer's end, that is. My employer was eric at polytrack.ga. So I'm going to log in as eric. So that I can see what is happening on this end. You can see there is one notification here. And uh, it's reading, there is one app new notification and it is company approval. So under the table which lists the companies we have this hp company and under approved label you can see it is already approved when i go to the dashboard you can see the company is is already showing as an approved company so i can go ahead and edit or delete this company as well but not for now because i want to see if i can now at least post a new job for this company so previously, it, it would have told me that uh, I am not eligible to create any job because my company has not been approved. But now you can see there is, there is this form that is appearing, which means the approval was uh, successful. So I'm going to log out and try to suspend this company and see what is going to happen on the employer's end. So to the super admin... Uh, we have this one company here, the same company from this employer, and I'm going to suspend it. Because of one reason or the other. So under the act tab, I'm going to leave a message behind maybe. The, the the company what the company profile is not satisfactory enough to be maybe to to post any any jobs yes so that is the message that the super admin is leaving behind as a reason as to why they are, su they are suspending this company so after suspension i'm going to log in again as the company so that i can see what again is happening on the other end Log out. So success. Log out. So here we have Mr. Eric. 
as an employer and his company is currently suspended. We have one notification here as well. Browse it. We have a message here, company suspended, created by Super, and the company is HP. So, there we go. It's a bit slower. We have the company now. Uh, on the status, we have the suspended button, which appears to be danger, according to Bootstrap. So, uh, the company was approved, but it's now suspended. There is a reason here, which has been left behind. We can browse it and view. So, the company profile is not satisfactory enough to post any jobs. So, correct the above mistakes, and your company will be unsuspended. Under this particular message, we can still edit the company, the company profile, and the, and everything that pertains to the company, so that we can, so so that the company will be eligible to post anything. And um, I'm not going to show it now because uh, the main reason why I'm doing this video is to show the the super admins functions on this. So I would like to urge you people. To continue subscribing to my youtube channel continue sharing this video tutorial this series that i'm doing right now so that it will be able to reach more and more people and so that i can be able to do more and more tutorials so i thank you very much for those who have been watching for those who have been uh, subscribing for those who have been sharing i wish you all the best and thank you very much and until next time uh let me meet you in the next tutorial have a nice time. Thank you very much.